Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate using the Apex zip package to manage zip files from PLSQL. The Apex zip package is shipped with Apex, so you must have Apex installed to use it, but you can use it from any PLSQL code, not just code running an Apex app. We connect to a privileged user, create a directory object pointing to a directory on the database server, grant read write access on the directory object to our test user, then connect to the test user. We've already loaded two procedures. File to blob reads a file into a blob. Blob to file writes the contents of a blob to a file. The links to both those procedures are in the description. We create a table called media. It stores the content type, file name and content, which is stored as a blob. Now we can start using the apex zip package. The getFiles function returns the list of files contained in a zip file. We have a variable to hold the zip file data. The tfiles type defines a table of varchar2 file names. We create a temporary blob. We use the file to blob procedure to load the zip file from the file system into the blob. In this case, the file is called testFileZip. We use the getFiles function to return the list of file names from the blob. We then loop through the collection and display the file names. We free the temporary lob at the end of the code. The output shows us the list of files in the zip, including subdirectories in the names. The getFiles function doesn't show the directory names separately by default. We repeat the previous example, but this time set the p-onlyFiles parameter to false. This allows us to see the directories too. Now the output includes each directory as a separate element, including empty directories. Let's amend the code from the first example to insert files into our table. We check the media table and it has no rows. Rather than displaying the file names, we use them in a call to the getFileContent function and insert the content into the media table. We know all the images are PNGs, so we're hard coding the content type in this example. For something real, we would have to infer the content type from the file extension. We check the media table and we can see the images are now loaded into the table. The add file and finish procedures are used to create a new zip file. We loop through the rows in the media table. For each row we call the add file procedure, passing in the zip blob, file name and content. Once the last file is added, we call the finish procedure to close the zip file. We use the blob to file procedure to write the new file out to the file system. Notice we've called the file test file 2 zip. We check the contents of the new zip file using the getFiles function. This is a repeat of the first example, but checking the contents of the testFile2 zip. As expected, we see the new zip file contains all the files from the media table. The Apex zip package is a really easy way to do basic zip and unzip operations from PLSQL. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.